Hey guys, Charles here from HumbleMechanic.com. Um, wanted to shoot a quick video and talk to you guys about this part right here. Uh, it's called a clock spring, and I had mentioned it in a post I did a while back. Uh, thought since I replaced one the other day, I'd go ahead and show you how it works and tell you a little bit more about what it does. But before I do that, um, real quick heads up, I just got done meeting with the designer and uh, we got a new logo coming, hopefully next week. I'll probably put a little teaser of what it looks like uh, on the blog tomorrow so you guys can uh, get a glimpse of it. It's pretty awesome. I'm super excited and uh, after I get this new logo finalized, we'll be looking at redoing the website a bit and uh, expect some pretty cool changes coming to the site. I'm super, super excited. Anyway, clock spring. Uh, this thing right here is the electrical connection between your vehicle and the steering wheel. Obviously the steering wheel does this, turns right, turns left. Um, there has to be some sort of connection between the steering wheel and the car to allow you to be able to turn the wheel and hit the horn uh, or turn the wheel and for the airbags to deploy in an accident. Um, also those cool radio buttons and cruise control buttons that everybody has on steering wheels now. Uh, I'll work through this little piece right here. It's actually a really simple part. All it is is a ribbon cable um, that is wound around this center piece right here. Uh, and what it does is it just has enough room to let you turn it all the way around right, all the way around left, without breaking any kind of electrical connection. Um, I tried to take it apart a little while ago and it didn't go so well, so I'm going to see if I can pop the back cover off and take it apart for you guys real quick so you can see the, the ribbon cable. That, that clicking and clacking over there is Foo Dog. She's hanging out uh, with us doing this video tonight. Uh, oh, here we go. So this is the disaster <laughs> of a ribbon cable. Uh, this actually may be one of the first ones that I've of this style that I've had apart. Uh, if you're a computer person, you probably recognize this ribbon as just printed circuitry. There's some connections there that correspond to the connector there. And then this is the piece that goes into the vehicle. Uh, a real simple setup. It's not the only design. <laughs> hey, girl. Uh, it's not the only style that they have. Um, this is probably the most common kind. This is a relatively common thing to replace. Uh, I think this came out of a 2007 or 8 Jetta. Um, hey. <laughs> um, don't mind her. She'll probably be jumping up here in just a second. Um, but again, I mentioned it in a post earlier, so I thought I'd just take a minute to show you guys what this, this disaster does um, and how it works. If you got any questions about it, Shoot a, shoot a post down in the bottom in the comments section and uh, I can tell you guys more. Uh, some of the other designs are very simple. It would be like a copper disc with a spring contact on it. I don't know of any Volkswagens that have used that for years. Uh, I know we've used this similar setup since 96, 95, something like that. Um, but again, that's, that's pretty much what it is. This is the piece that connects your airbag, your radio buttons, your cruise control buttons, and your horn all to the rest of the vehicle and allows you to use them while you have the wheel turned. Uh, and that's it. That, that is how this part works. One quick other thing. I know I've mentioned it before on the blog and on Facebook and Twitter. Go to the forum, technitiandatabase.com. I'll put a link uh, on the post. If you're not a technician, totally cool. It's for everybody. It's all kinds of cool automotive information. Uh, it lets me expand on some things that I can't necessarily do a post on. Um, we got about 25 members sign up. I'm doing a little contest for the first 50 people that sign up. I'll do some kind of cool giveaway uh, or something. <laughs> uh, our other dog is pouting in the other room. He's, he's kind of scared. But... Uh, Anyway, technitiandatabase.com, I'll put a link, go there, sign up. If a, about a day goes by and you don't get approved, email me and let me know. I've been getting ridiculous amounts of spam. 
Um, so I'm trying to keep all of that off of the forum and uh, make it a nice, comfortable place for everybody to be. So, again, thanks for watching. This is Charles from HumbleMechanic.com.